Right there. What even is this? I don't know what random, random box. What the? Wait a minute. Why do I have a feeling there's something over here? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's invisible. Hello? Oh, it's a tripod. Nice. Nice, I found the tripod. Well, oh wait, this camera angle might actually work. This is on, right? You know? Yeah, I think I think it's on. I think think we all good. I just got time with the chair. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Glad I was able to find my tripod. I don't know why it took so long to find it today. We have a very, very special surprise from the one and only BNSF Railway. And uh, because this is BNSF related, I thought I'd take it upon myself and uh, leave the old AC 4400 shell just sitting right here. So, obviously, this is a pretty small package from BNSF, but uh, I will let you guys know this is one of their newest items they've added to their store. So, let's take it out of the package. So, look at that. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an SD, I want to say, I can't really see the nose. It, it, I, it's either an Ace or a Mace, a Mac, I, uh, I don't know, I already forgot. And with this custom BNSF packaging, by the way, on the very top, BNSF, on the very back, you have this custom BNSF freight train pulling a few double stack with interesting looking windows. BNSF Railway. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the box for the first time because I don't want to really destroy this unless it's on camera. It looks like we have an ace, judging by the nose. Look at that. This was helped to be produced by Matchbox and Caterpillar, made out of full die cast metal. This, for 10 dollars 
you can get your very own detailed BNSF ST70 ACE completed with front and rear couplers that both move. Front trucks do not, but the wheels do. So you can go like this. And guess what? This is a non functional locomotive. It doesn't have a motor, it's not end gauge. This is literally just a die cast locomotive that's made to just look very, very cool. And it is very, very cool. Now, because this is made out of die cast metal, you can see just how shiny that thing is. And I have a BNSF SD78CE right over there. So trust me when I say this thing is pretty realistic because it was helped manufactured by Matchbox, of course. You can only imagine this thing is nice. Oh, that is interesting. Um, it looks like BNSF is trying to make this a uh, tier four or the mace, I have no idea. But it's the body of an SD70 ACE. The uh, radiators are a lot less flared than they usually are for some reason. I, I don't know, it's small, I guess. But the windows actually have the teardrop windows, which uh, I thought that was only on either the maces, the locks, there's too many. But uh, I'll obviously get a little closer. The paving is pretty much on point. It's very, very beautiful. I mean, even the manual handbrake right here is painted black separately. It's just impressive. Uh, the windows are a little funny. They really, really big windows there. And uh, this is BNSF 6615. And uh, wow, it is just, oh, wow. On the back here, it says made in China, 1.180. DN Diecast Masters. On the box, it says you can see 14 and up, BNSF 2023. www.caterpillar.com did help make this. Um, the Caterpillar, their represented logos, Caterpillar Yellow. So I guess that's where BNSF got this yellow, was uh, Caterpillar. So that's where Caterpillar comes in. And uh, it looks right here. The Diecast Masters Company is what made the actual model. And Caterpillar helped with the paint. That is pretty, that, that is just pretty cool, man. Um, for some reason, this was rated 14 and up. And it's a choking hazard, which, yeah, yeah, no, I, uh, I do see that. So uh, small parts. The only thing that kind of sucks is it doesn't have any uh, grab irons, but the best part is, is you can just, and it's made out of metal, so you can just, I am kidding, Jesus Christ, what kind of animal do you guys take me for? I would never do that. Now, if this was Canadian National, yes, that this was Canadian National, it would be on the floor. Now, as I mentioned before, for only $10.99, and unfortunately for me, I don't know, it might depend where you live. Normal shipping, it was like under a week. $10, $20 for this. Now, this is like a collector's item. I can try and put it on the track just to see how funny it looks. I'll, I will put it next to the SD70 ACE after this little commercial break. But uh, this thing is just beautiful. I can't believe they have the couplers. I mean, that is just crazy, and it, like, actually moves back and forth, like, they really are trying to sell you a, uh, what is this, this be N, N, yeah, I think N gauge here, wow, very beautiful, so, with all that being said, let's go into the other room, where we have way better lighting, and, uh, we're gonna get a closer look at this brand new SD70 ACE. Alright guys, here we are in the other room with so much more lighting, and here, I have the Walther's Mainline SD70 ACE. Obviously this is the one that was trying to be Humpty Dumpty and it took a great fall. But I will put it somewhere and uh, we will compare everything to the real 
real tiny SD70 ACE. So I'm gonna do like a five second time lapse because uh, I gotta unbox this thing still. So, as you can see, I have officially pulled out the way bigger SD70 ACE, and it just so happens this little guy fits right on top of his, uh, what was this, we'll call it dad, or maybe even granddad at this point. Obviously, you guys can't see the majority of the specific details, we'll get there in a second, trust me, but uh, as I'm looking at these two, I'd say they're pretty damn identical, and uh, this is 100% a ace um the only thing that like i said is the weird is it's got the teardrop windows and unlike this thing that's over a hundred dollars it actually has the ac or gps tracking whatever that those three white stripes are on top of the uh cab i always assume it's the air conditioning unit and the a hundred dollar version does not have that so let's go over the details really quick this one on top the 10 $10 one, very, very shiny, complete die cast metal. 150 plastic with the addition of some metal. Not that shiny, kind of a matte finish. $10, no grab irons whatsoever. $150, grab irons as far as the eye can see. $10, for some reason, has teardrop windows. $150. No teardrop windows. $10. Very, very accurate paint. $150. Accurate, but that one looks so much better. So, now that we've gone over some of the logistics of what they do and do not have, uh, I'm not going to point out the fact that the $10 one has couplers and this one doesn't because this, the bigger one, is in disrepay. Disrepay. Disrepair. So, of course, it doesn't have its couplers on. So, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit closer to the camera to fully show off this tiny SD70 ACE. Alright, here we are a little bit closer to the camera. Here's a way better look at BNSF's take on the SD70 ACE. As you can see, there's the side of this. You can see the shininess that I'm talking about, that die-cast metal. You can see what I'm talking about about the window, how it's just one complete thing of glass that's not split down the middle or anything, which, that's okay. As you can see, the truck and the fuel tank is painted accordingly to the new BNSF paint scheme where everything is that shiny silver. The underneath, you can see those nice wheels, they all turn, every single one of them, but the trucks, well, they do not. You can see there's some screw points where the couplers are, and you see, has a little bit of sway right here Ooh, let's do that a little bit of sway from a top point of view you'll notice this thing has no horn that's a fra violation i will be reporting that but you can also see that the radiator um radiator fans are painted pretty damn nice this one like that counterpart is completely gray these ones have their little gray parts right there and as you can see you also have the horn would be somewhere in here and then you have the main exhaust and then you have the, I'm just going to say for now, the AC unit. Looking at it from a front perspective, you can see that beautiful BNSF H3 swoosh with the headlight. And look at how the headlight's painted. That's nice. You tell that it has an ST70 Ace. Um, I think it's called Thunder Cab because it has the cuts on the noses for more visibility. Plus it has the teardrop windows which were originally implemented on the SD70 M, uh, SD70 Mac. And uh, they have implemented these on the brand new, I want to say, Tier 4s, or maybe this is a Mace or Mac, I don't know. I will say one thing I am noticing is the top of the radiator housing looks way different from the SD70 Ace, and I know that's an Ace because it says it on the box. This one, it's just being called a Matchbox. This one has three additional fans, while that one has two. If anyone can please tell me what exactly the hell this thing is, because... I don't know, is it a Mace, is it a Mac, is it an M, what, what is going on here? <laughs> uh, 
I really have no idea. I thought it was a Mac because it's like very nice and streamlined, but I have no idea what this thing is. It's a, it's got the Mac body, but it's also trying to be a ace on the front, so that's that's nice. Look at the conductor side. You can see once again the pure shininess of this thing. I mean, once it hits the light, it's just beautiful. Then you got the number board, sixty six fifteen, and then the rear, nothing too. Something to get excited about, but if you look really closely, trying to make sure the camera doesn't lose focus. <coughs> Sorry. You can tell it says 6615 on both sides accurately. So, we're going to go ahead, set this down, and get an even better look at the SD70 ACE <clears throat> to show you guys the differences, and hopefully, someone can help me identify this because obviously. I don't know my engines as well as I thought I did. I need water. <clears throat> All right, here we have the Walther's mainline. SD70 ACE, also known as the Ace, painted in the BNSF H3 livery. As you can see, this is BNSF 9384, a real life SD70 Ace. And as you can see, it's got all of this accordingly, exactly how it would be in real life. And the horn just broke off like five seconds ago, but that's okay. As you can see, the radiator um, housing is flared way out, like it should be on the SD70 ACE. The rear fuel tank and the trucks are painted accordingly to the BNSF paint scheme and that's silver. Turning this around to the rear, you can see the flared radiator housing once again, plus the grab irons and uh, the broken plow because, you know, this thing fell pretty nasty. Turning this over to this side now, looking at the conductor side, you can see the exact same thing. And yes, there's a lot of things missing. It's because this thing is being repaired at the moment. So this is not how it came in the box. Don't worry about it. Then looking at the front, you can see the cut on the nose for more visibility for the engineer and the conductor. The cow catcher, the ditch lights, and the headlights along with the number boards. Looking in on from a top view, you can see... That those white stripes, which is either the GPS tracking system, the AC units, or both, not visible. The main exhaust, the horn housing, and then the two radiator fans, and then, well, the three radiator fans, but that one is painted completely silver, just like the one on that little guy right over there. And then you only have two of these. That one has three. I will do a little bit of research to see what I can figure out. And maybe I can figure out what this is at the end of the video. And if I'm too lazy and I just want to have someone else tell me, that's what I'll do. But first, a word from today's sponsor. One action. All right, guys. Here we are at the very end of the video. And one quick note. I want to make sure everyone is clear about putting the tiny ace on top of the big ace, like how I have it set up right now, is not what ultimately broke the horn. It snapped off because of the plastic it was wrapped in because it was... I don't know how Dirley wrapped it. It's not how Walters does it, so it kind of just, you know, that's okay. We have glue. I put the par I put the horn back in the box in a safe spot. I'll notify Dirley, and I'm sure we can get it attached once again. So, coming in to the very end of the video, if you guys can't notice already, I have three things that have been seen in this video that are all being sold on the BNSF store. And even though they are not sponsoring me, I do want to tell all of you guys, if you're just like me, and you love the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, if you have a neighbor that works for them or not, go ahead, go to bnsfstore.com, and you can pick up your very own, for $10, SD70, I have no idea, full die-cast metal, this hat that is reflected with this stripe, it says BNSF, right here, and it has the railroad crossing, all reflective, and you can even pick up this brand new sweatshirt, it's full black and it has the BNSF swoosh logo right here. And many more hats, sweatshirts, and even big Carhartt coats for those cold days. Some of this stuff I even see their employees wear. Where do they get it? 
same place you will. Go ahead, go to the link in the description, even though I'm not sponsored by BNSF. It's a free thing for them. I love them a lot, and I figured, why not? So if you have the time, if you have the money, and you have the passion that I have for BNSF, go shop at their store, link in the description. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna make an attempt in Iowa tonight. Unfortunately, um, Saturdays are a 50-50 chance on the Council Bluffs Blue Island, also known as the CBBI. Doesn't mean they're not gonna run anything, but if there would be a train tonight, probably gonna to be a lot shorter, keep that in mind. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for coming in. Hope you enjoyed the view on BNSF 6615. With all that being said, I will see you guys later tonight or tomorrow.